Hey guys, what is up? So I know I always say like I'm leaving TikTok like for whatever. Um, and yeah, I am actually gonna probably take a break for like I don't know, like a week. And I'm taking a week off from posting on YouTube and probably just any social medias. Um, so the front of me is, is up the podcast and obviously we talk a lot about what happened and stuff and it's just like a lot and I feel like a lot of emotions and mostly like sickness and anxiety over it. It just feels like I don't want to make anyone more upset. I am just trying to like hash out my feelings, but also I just need to do that. Like I really do need to do it privately and I just want to move on and I just don't want to be associated with anyone I've mentioned and I just want everyone to move on and like like it's just a lot and it's just really triggering and I know I say this a lot but like like ooh I'm just like learning you know obviously I was okay to talk about on the podcast and stuff but I just I, I asked him to not put like Shane or Jeffrey's name in the title because I just I don't want to be that and the music video I posted today was already scheduled to go up this week I said it in last week's front of me so I just don't want to see anything online for a while so I'm gonna peace okay so I just saw Ryland's podcast and it's like it's really hurtful it's really hurtful but I just wanted to address a few things the first being why didn't Trish come to us about this problem that she was on? I did right after it happened continuously throughout phone calls with shane and you on my couch telling you about it's not it's not just drama it's not drama like it's full-on harassment telling me to, to oh there's a balcony jump telling me like throwing shit in the thing like just being so mean smacking shit out of my hand i i did tell you this it's it's not drama he says he's not a mind reader well you don't have to be a mind reader because i told you guys multiple times and you know this it's just straight up it's it's actually crazy Two friends got in an altercation a year ago. I did absolutely nothing. I was so excited to go on this trip. I came back and I was traumatized. I was bawling my eyes out. I was crying. It wasn't an altercation. What did I do? Harry J is like, oh, Trisha, Trisha should be lucky. Jeffrey's not airing her, laying straight out. What did I do? I did absolutely nothing to warrant this. Then he goes on to say, we could have talked this out with her. Well, guess what? When he did text, he said, let's forget about it. And he ended it with, well, I didn't want to believe what you said about Jeffrey. How are we supposed to talk about it? The fact that he said, I can't read someone's mind is like, I, I don't even know who this person is and he's actually the fakest person and this just proves it It just proves it. And I knew it when they had Jeffrey up there like praising him all this great stuff Like I knew it was fake. I knew it was for views. These people sold their soul to the devil. It is Scary, it's scary. And you know what? I'm not upset with you guys. He kept saying I don't know why she's upset with this or mad. I'm not upset. I'm not angry I'm like so disappointed 12 years of friendship with Shane and However many years two or three years friendship with you and you just like being there sitting on my couch like all this time and guess what? Another thing about your friend Jeffrey, his so-called being there for you guys during all this trauma. Well, here, I think you know who this is from. A breakdown of when Shane was bawling his eyes out, Jeffrey rolling his eyes like, ugh, it's Shane again. Maybe it's hard for her to express her feelings about Jeffrey. F you, Ryland. F you. You are a POS. You are a POS because you know exactly how I felt this entire year. And this is why I blocked both him and Shane. They are so manipulating gaslighting they're so cruel it's insane and they are brylan is so fake and let me tell you why because he's like yeah jeffrey's always been kind of like not that great to me he kind of ignores me and he's not nice to morgan and this that and the other shane also saying to me last year during all this trauma is like oh maybe jeffrey's like this villain like how i'm scared what do we do like how do we distance ourselves from him there was no drama. I said I was never going to expose Jeffrey because you guys were still like in business with him and stuff like that. There was no drama. It's straight up the bullying, being mean, being nasty, like, but like traumatized. It's more than just me having an issue with somebody. This was like a personal private matter that I confided in you guys in. And then you're turning this around and be like, I wish she would have talked. Oh, maybe she doesn't know how to express herself when it comes to Jeffrey. There is no mending this friendship or relationship. You guys made a deal with the devil and I want nothing, nothing to do with that evil energy. It's nasty and it's disgusting and I repute it. You want some internet drama, Ryland? You want drama because that was traumatizing. That is shit that I'm still dealing with. It's just why I bring it up. It's why it keeps going through my head. It's why I keep talking about it with you guys all the time about the Jeffrey situation. Let's let's talk about internet drama. Okay, yeah, you don't... Oh, Trisha talked to me about the podcast and I'm wanting to take it down. Like, I told it to Shane three times and he glazed over it. The fact that you guys are praising this evil, this monster. And I should have known this was evil. Here's some internet drama for you. When Shane asked me to take down videos that we did with Trevor and Moran of him like singing in Shane's apartment or whatever during his whole scandal, I took it down. I took it down. Why? Because, I don't know, Shane is like a friend and if he says something's uncomfortable, I do take it down. Anything anything he's asked me to take down so many videos you know how many videos I asked shane to take down on me zero i don't know what jeffrey has over you and shane i don't know what dark shit you guys do what devil magic you guys are doing but it's dark and i want no part of it and your podcast just showed how cold and evil you have become how there's no soul behind those eyes i hope it was worth it
Like, I really did want to cleanse. And then when I saw, because I really did not think he was going to, like, address it because it's just heavy. And usually when stuff's heavy and serious, they, they ignore it and they hide. Which is just, like, just by all the coldness in the tone. He's just like, all right, well, I'm moving on to this podcast. It's like, I'm so disappointed that that was his response to all this. Like, it's crazy. I, <laughs> how people can change so quickly is insane. There's some darkness around this. I don't know what it is. I don't know if like there's secrets. They have stuff on each other. I don't know if it's just strictly for money to keep collecting money from the palette and from the merch and from, you know, Jeffrey being on the podcast. And so I don't know what it is. It started out as an issue with, with apparently an issue Jay had with me and then Jeffrey also like obviously being a part of that. And now it's gone to this. It's cowardly and it's sick and it's, it's, it's blows my mind. I just want to say that I am so thankful for all the people who are speaking the truth. Tab, I'm so sorry for saying that I was scared of Jeffrey and I didn't want to back up or corroborate your story. Like, you're not on Jeffrey's payroll. I should have backed you up because that shit happened on that trip and I didn't. Oscar, you were so close with Jeffrey last year and like all that shit you said, only stuff that I texted Jeffrey like saying that, like I got a Rolls Royce, am I you yet? Like in admiration of Jeffrey, like only you and like only Jeffrey would know that. So I know this is true. All the shit he sh said about Shane and stuff. Like I thank you for speaking your truth. My sister can corroborate that we sat around a table after my Vegas trip with Jeffrey and I was like traumatized and my sister's like, yeah, she came on balling. We were all sitting there. Moses can corroborate like that. that I, I told him this, I spoke this. So if you're confused, Ryland, as to why... And you, you claiming I didn't come to you, I did. And you know this. And the fact that you are lying, that you are lying about this stuff is like, I, it's, it, this is what I'm saying is, is the darkness. It's this, I'm just, I'm so, so confused. And what sucks is this was all started by that Hair by Jay video that like triggered me so hardcore. And what sucks the most is that Rylan and Shay know this is exactly the words that were coming out of Jeffrey's own mouth on that trip. They know this but now everyone including jeffrey is shifting the blame solely to jay because he was dumb enough to come out with it publicly jeffrey himself said i've already apologized to trish for it confirming that this stuff is is true like i know people dislike me and stuff like that and my own friend shane of 12 years doesn't even believe me but i just feel like if more people speak the truth that aren't on jeffrey's payroll like it's just it's just crazy it's just crazy it's not internet drama this is something that's traumatizing shane was being canceled for all his inappropriate jokes and he asked me to delete an innocent video of us with trevor moran when he was 15 years old and i didn't think twice about it but now i'm starting to think twice about it is that also just internet drama like i just don't know what else to do with this like i'm so just beside myself i'm just so beside myself i'm really 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 trying to let this go i'm really trying to let this go and deal with like my own trauma in my head from like all of this shit even from that from those moments like because i literally i literally didn't do anything i didn't do anything to warrant them making fun of my skin making fun of saying that i'm on drugs to people like making fun of the fact that i admired jeffrey and wanted to be like him and stuff like that like i i did nothing to warrant this i know i can be a shitty person at times online like i know people don't like me for various reasons but i did absolutely nothing in this private relationship except to be his friend i didn't take any money no jobs nothing from shane or jeffrey but they're both using each other for money it's disgusting money is the root of all evil i don't know i don't know how i was like so blind to all this i don't know how i was so blind and so stupid and i hope more people wake up i hope more people will speak the truth and Sh and ryland just straight up lying it's it's so it's 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 i like it makes me physically sick like i, I don't know how do you even you can't even go against that like so like I just I just don't know what to do anymore than like show screenshots I guess Shane and Jeffrey they do everything through voice memos so like the voice things will delete I guess you can see them I don't know how I never really did but they they've always been paranoid about people screenshotting shit and stuff like that but I can show my screenshots and you'll just see it looks like I'm talking to myself because like the voice memos disappear or whatever but I I told I told them in group chats I told Shane privately like me and Jeffrey have conversations specifically detailing all the stuff that happened on that trip and him like apologizing and stuff like that. Like, there's text messages. I don't know why Ryland is confused, why he's saying Trisha didn't come to us personally. I had no idea. Maybe she didn't express herself well enough about Jeffrey. I have the text. I don't... I, I hate showing. I hate showing, like, screenshots like that. I think that's, like, such an invasion of privacy. But I don't know what else to do. Like, because it's just... I'm dealing with just liars. Like, just straight up lying about people that I really thought would have my back just a little bit more. Stay friends with the devil, but just have my back maybe just a little bit more. Give me a little bit of credit. Also notice on the podcast, it's Ryland trying to defend him and Shane's image and honor. Skipping over Jeffrey completely. 
trying to be like, we don't support the negative things against that were said about Trisha. Who, who would support that? It was constantly, she didn't come to us personally. I don't think she knew how to express herself. We could have talked this out. <laughs> like all they care about is like their image. That's, that's all they care about in this situation. Like it's, they don't care about anything else. Just like when I texted Shane and I can show it, I texted him so many times about like, how could you be praising Jeffrey in this podcast when you knew all the shit he's done to me? Like that was my issue. Skipped over it, skipped over it. It was constantly like, I'm going to therapy, please. You're the only person in my life. Fast forward to Rylan being like, mm, we didn't know about any of this stuff. She never came to us personally. She could have talked to us about it. I'm like having a panic attack over here. Do you know the biggest lie out of Ryland's mouth is when he's like, I don't support anything negative said about Trish. When you know damn well, those are the words. Everything Jay said were the exact same thing that I told you and Shane about not once, not twice, multiple times after I came back from Vegas. I can show it in text messages. I said it in real life. My sister was there to hear it. And that is how I know this person is literally so far gone for money, for whatever, for views. I don't know what it is. And that sucks. You know, all of this has just opened my eyes, like the kind of people they are and the, how they're like, how I'm usually I get anxiety after like releasing exposed video. I actually feel so calm and I feel like more like relieved. Like there's a weight lift off my chest because they've always been actually shitty friends. Like when you like really think about it, they've been shitty friends. They didn't come to one of my shows. My Like I did, I did a pre-show, I did two tours and never once did they come to one. Anaheim, Gigi made her way down there. This was well before Shane started like popping off with a series is when he was still doing food videos couldn't make it to that one they said they thought about it so I guess that's something I did a first tour okay I was friends with David and Jason maybe they just don't want to go because of that I don't know my last tour I had a show in LA every single person I knew came every single person I knew came except for them Shane gushes about everyone's like music music videos like like his friend who had like a movie come out never once has he ever gushed over a music video I did and it's fine it's whatever I'm just like realizing it. like I'm just realizing that they're shitty friends that I don't care that I lost I'm just so stupid to blindly defend them. Like, it's crazy. Like, I, I like I said from the beginning of the I was like, I don't hate them. I'm not going to, like, go on this hate monger. I hate them. They're the worst. Cancel them. Because, like, I, I believe Shane's super talented and can have a great comeback and stuff like that. And, you know, Rylan is, is marrying Shane. So I just, I, I just, I'm just disappointed, like I always said. Like, I'm, it's more just sad. Like, I watched that podcast and just seeing him cold and, like, lifeless and no soul and just straight up lying is insane. <laughs> And I really do hope they say lifelong friends. Like, I really hope it was worth it. Like, I hope all this was worth it. I hope their friendship is worth it. I hope the money is worth it. I hope these sales are worth it. The views are worth it. I hope all that's worth it. Like, I don't... <sighs> like, I'm so stupid that I believed. Or, like, I don't know what to believe anymore. He's saying Jeffrey wasn't nice to Morgan and, and, him, and Rylan himself. And, you know, just people... It's just... <sighs> There's just so much more I can say. I just want this to be over. I'm just, I'm just in shock. <laughs> and I'm just venting. So sorry. I think this is a super important note because I myself have gone through friend groups or friendships and I like I have to reflect and be like okay there's something there is something wrong with me and I feel like I do a pretty good job even with my last blow up of David in that friend group whatever two years ago like I feel like I took a good accountability and a good look at myself and be like oh this probably wasn't cool even with H3 like you know I had to take a step back and be like shit I really I really messed up like saying names like you know joking about family stuff like you have to like really like take some sort of ownership and accountability in order to like start to at least move on but like the fact that there was like no ownership and no accountability everything is just she didn't express herself right she didn't tell us we could like it was all my fault is like ins it's insane and this is a mentality with all their friends and it's just crazy to me when people can't just like acknowledge that there was something that they did that was shitty I've done a lot of shitty things in my friendships and I acknowledge it and I try to like learn from it and that's the only way you can really fully get going through. It's just crazy to me that this is somehow my fault. I can't express myself clearly enough when everyone on the internet knows I have no problem expressing myself. Or that we could all talk it out when Shane said to himself like let's just move past this. Or later on in the conversation, well I didn't believe what you said anyways. Like I said, I'm willing to own up and take part in anything that I have done that's been bad in like relationships, friendships, things. I'm like, oh yeah, this was, this was messed up. I'm the first person to take accountability to say sorry. Like I'm, that's like, that's how I can grow. That's how I have been able to grow. That's how I'm not like the shitty person anymore. But in this situation, I did nothing wrong. Like it's the first time I can ever say that. Like I, like other situations I've been in, yes, it's like been maybe somewhat warranted or I provoked it in some way. But this, like, is, is insane. 
and I never once put them in the middle and be like, oh, you have to choose someone. But I did express to Shane numerous times about Jeffrey on the podcast and like just glazed over it just like they did. Just no, just don't even mention Jeffrey. Shifting blame everywhere else. Like, honestly, thank you for this. Like, I need to because I know I'm going to say shit. I'm going to regret. And, like, I just don't want to. I just don't want it to go there. Like, I don't want it to be there. And I can feel it, you know. It's, like, because <laughs> all this stuff is super triggering. People, like, because of my reputation, either people not believing me or then Rylan perpetuating that I'm, like, lying or just like Riley never once like apologized I wish we could remember this like they, it's it's insane and it's like free, it's freaking me out and I really need to chill and I am like I, I really was gonna take a break after last night I saw this like clips of it and it started like triggering me online on Twitter and I just like people are lying like people are and like honestly like they'll probably try and sue me like they try and like sue people to like keep them quiet or whatever like that because they have the money and people will usually win but i don't care i i would i would I would go broke over this because like these are actual bad people and i don't care about money i really don't care about money i was fine when i didn't have money i'd be fine without it but these are bad horrible people it's like it's like the devil i do need to take a break for real because it's like too much Every friendship of theirs has ended because of something the other person did. Because they did this, they did this, they did this. Every one of my friendships have ended because I feel like there's equal parts. But now I see they're trying to play the same thing with me. Trisha didn't express herself enough to us. Trisha could have talked to us. I wish Trisha would have reached out personally. I did! The amount of tears I cried over Jeffrey and they were like always trying to like defend him and stuff. And I was never trying to sway them. I was never like choose the friendship, whatever. Like I never, it was never about that because I knew they had a friendship and like a business relationship. But it's just like they lied so much about Jeffrey being mean to Morgan and Ryland. And then Shane saying he's scared. So now switching it over to like protecting Jeffrey. And this is on Trisha because they want to believe that every friendship they lost is because of other people. That's not, that's not how it works. And I can say without a shadow of a doubt, this is my first friendships I've ever had where it's completely their fault that they lost this friendship because they are shitty, shitty people. And I can't say that about any other friend groups or friendships that I've had ever. Shane would always gas me up and be like, Jeffrey loves you, Jeffrey this, but yeah, like Jeffrey had blocked me. Like I, when the Kat Von D thing came up, I was like, wow, this is like a, this person has some issues or something and, and Shane vouched for him and I always just go by like Shane because I was like, oh, if he vouches for him, it's fine. And he'd be like, yeah, he loves you. And up until going from gassing me up to gaslighting this on Saturday when we had the conversation he was like I never heard such ever say anything about you it was to my face like it was to my face like half the stuff and half the stuff from multiple other people that had the exact same story that weren't at the same time Rich Lux wasn't there when Oscar was there Oscar wasn't there when Tab was there Oscar wasn't there when I was there. like from different times and everyone has the same story but aside from that like stuff to my face and I have these conversations with Jeffrey where I acknowledge everything and he's acknowledging it but because you guys didn't hear, you you guys didn't hear about it, so it must not be true then. But you know what? My gut always was that Jeffrey was a bad person. That's like not even a question. It's just all this now. It's just like wow, they sold out. Shane edits all of Ryland's podcast, so this is like a moot point. But also, Ryland was there when I had all these talks with him about Jeffrey, and Shane Ryland himself was like, "Yeah, Jeffrey's not that nice to me." So, like really 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 for my own like physical health and like sanity because honestly it just feels like i know it feels like a heart attack but everyone's been telling me it's like anxiety like i really am just like putting my phone down 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 like i'm not gonna look at anything literally for like i like i wasn't gonna i just wasn't gonna post because i just don't want to like i just didn't i just didn't feel good about posting like the stuff i i posted this week my music video i had filmed back in december and then my adam and eve i had to like contractually like i have to post every other week um but i just didn't feel like fun or right in the right mindset to film like content this week so i was just gonna stop posting for me but like i really do have to put my phone down for real for real and not look at anything and i just like ask you to not like tag me in anything like i just don't want to i just don't want to see anything like on twitter i muted like so many like drama accounts because I, ju I just don't want to see anything if i know you personally don't text me about it like it just gives me so much anxiety like it doesn't it does this doesn't feel real this doesn't feel real if i've ever had an issue it's just like like shane was like the one person that's always just been there just like blindly comforting me and now it's just like i'm like so huh I just need, I just need to shut my phone off. That's it. I just, that's what I'm Good morning. Oh my gosh. So I was just sent, I was just sent voice memos from Shane, his own voice, shit talking me back from April, 2017, two months after we filmed his first series where I was him and he was me. And he's just like telling this influencer I say his name's Charles Gross. 
stuff that I told him. And I wasn't really shit talking Charles Gross, but Shane was shit talking me because I was friends with Peter Mon and I was just like asking him if he invited Charles Gross to this like Christmas party. But he was like mocking my voice in the audio. And like, I don't think it's like legal or morally right to share like audio messages but i heard it for myself like publicly i heard it for myself and i'm like I, it's the first time like i actually heard it from shane's mouth like being like trish he's like trish are we like kids like mocking my voice i was <sighs> so i did get um an okay from charles gross to share this but again i don't know if i want to share the actual audio but there it is because like i heard it with my own ears i'm just like freaking out you guys look april 2017 and he's gossiping about something i told him before a christmas party in 2016 i don't even remember it like i do remember like talking to peter Martin. this is so stupid like i just remember being like yeah like did you invite Charles? but he's like the way he said it on the audio was just like yeah trish is like ew why would you do that and he's like trish is this all you have better to do is gossip shane you are the biggest gossip and you're the meanest gossip yeah maybe i was like hey yeah peter Martin said that you're inviting charles Gross. i never said anything bad about him he doesn't say that i said anything bad about him but like i'm not i'm not mean and i don't look at you gossiping like to someone you don't even know like i, I was his best best friend no, I was just the stupid one. I was just the desperate one. I'm such an idiot. The audio is literally Shane in a mocking voice being me, being like, you invited this guy? Like, as what? What? I have never said one bad thing about Shane privately, publicly, any- oh, I'm just like, I, I was like kind of getting myself together and like, just, just like move on. Today's a new day. But I was just like, I'm so, I'm so shocked. I'm like- I'm, I've just never been so mind blown by someone so fake. Cause I, you will not find one voice memo of me bad talking Shane or saying something that Shane said to me in private or question. Like this is like Shane's a gossip. Yeah. But I didn't know he was so mean and like conniving behind people's back. Truly. I didn't know this. Like he'd end friendships and he would like kind of tell me, but like also always just like paint himself as like a good person. Like never was being like mean. This is just like nasty shit. Like mocking. Like I best friend we did we did the first series together i was going through so much that year 2017 i did the series after my breakup with sean and he knew like in that series i'm like going through it like this is months later like i was not mentally well this year like i checked in with shane about like this is i'm so mind blown i'm so mind blown like you don't understand how bad i just like want to move forward like i love making like tiktoks and fun tiktoks like these are just so stupid and like i hate that they're even on my feed i'm just like I can't even I can't even take it in like hearing like hearing his voice right like I've heard it from multiple people and like different people and like okay but like hearing him like mock me and say Trish told me four months ago about something like just and and for what to make Charles Gross feel like worse about I didn't say anything bad and he, he and he repeated that I didn't say anything bad it wasn't that it was just like more that I was like asking him like why he invited like Charles because like Peter Mon like didn't like him it, this was like so long ago like everything's like squashed but it's just like what was the point to make Charles feel bad, to make me look bad, to just shit on me for no reason, to mock my voice? Like, well, I don't understand. Like, it just, it doesn't make any sense. Like, just completely unwarranted. Like, I know I do stuff that's like, like rubs people the wrong way, but I was so nice to Shane. I never said anything bad about him. I was always there for him. Like, I'm so, <laughs> it's like the wind has been knocked out of me. So just to touch on that, like Peter Ma made a video talking about like when he met up with Shane in Vegas and this was like around like, I don't know, 2018. And um, I like, and I guess he said that like Trisha said she'd meet up with me or something in Vegas and to which Shane said to that, oh yeah, Trisha said she'd meet up with me in Vegas. That's what Peter told Shane. Shane's response to that was Trisha's a pathological liar. Like what? What is the point? It's not like I said, you know, Shane's this or made up rumors about someone. I said, oh, I would love to meet up with you to which Shane's response is Trisha's a pathological liar. Peter Ron also goes on to say that he says that Tana is a sociopath, Jake Paul's a sociopath, and then I'm a sociopath. Oh my god. Shane, you're not a psychologist. Not everyone's a sociopath. <laughs> Oh my god, you give this guy a series of fake therapists and an ego and all of a sudden he just knows everything about psychology and he can diagnose anyone as a sociopath. Like what? Make it make sense. And he said Andrew and Garrett and they were there like laughing in Ryland. Like why? Why did I warrant that? Why did I warrant my best friend called me a pathological liar and a sociopath? What? And again, to reiterate, this isn't Shane saying this in defense of himself. Well, Trish is a pathological liar. It's not like I made up a rumor about Shane and he's like, well, Trish is a pathological liar. Like he just said this because I said I wanted to meet up with Peter, which I did meet up with him and do a video in my apartment. Okay. So he just said I'm a sociopath for no reason. Like he just met this guy, Peter Mon, for the first time. And he knew me nine years at that point and just decided to randomly say Trish is a sociopath. Like, even him telling Charles Gross all this, like, what is the, what is the point? 
I mean, clearly he had some issue with me or some issues himself. If he's telling Gabby, Hannah, I have herpes, which I'm going to show next week on my podcast, like my results, like I don't, but it's like, wh- why, why are you just making this stuff up? Why are you just saying this? What is the point though? Like, what is the point to humiliate me, to make me look stupid, to paint your own narrative of me, like to look, make me look like a clown for being friends with you. And like, these are voice memos he sent to people. No one's like privately recording him or anything like that, which I heard other people do, but like, these are voice memos he sent. And honestly, like if you share a voice memo with me about Shane, like, and like I'm sure there's more like I'm not going to share them obviously like I just it just like solidifies like I I think I I already don't feel bad like I already feels like a weight has been lifted off me like I don't have any remorse about this friendship because like I did nothing to warrant this like this is the first time ever in my life in my career on YouTube that I didn't warrant this kind of response rebuttal attack like it's not even a response it was just like this weird attack for no reason and it just like it just I don't know I guess just like hearing it is just like yeah this person is a bad bad person like this is the one person i thought never talked bad about me that never like gossiped like this is this is insane yeah i'm like processing all this like it's just this week has been hard anyways because it's like it's just it literally feels like i just didn't know this person peter mon's video he said he called me a sociopath and i'm just like pov you're the toxic friend and i'm trying to end it oh you made a rumor about my sexual health bye Oh, you called me a sociopath for no reason? Never talking to you again. Oh, you're bringing up my mental health issues to use them against me? Screw you. Oh, you're calling me a pathological liar? Don't need you in my life. Oh, you're telling me to just get over some trauma? Oh, you're telling me you didn't believe me when I told you something and I've never lied to you ever in the course of our friendship? Go to hell. (laughs) You know who hides? Cowards. You know who stay quiet? Guilty people. And if you do both, you do the math, baby.